Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for August 6th through the 12th. This is for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind that this reading may not be yours. Might not be, could be, but may not be. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Um, this is for the 6th through the 12th. Generally, my readings are love readings. That's what I concentrate on. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic, not pessimistic. flying out. Three of swords reverse. Somebody is letting go of sorrow. I'm letting it go. Taking back control, taking the lead, dominating the situation. Re no longer going to hold on to this hurt, this pain. I'm not holding on to it. I'm letting it go. I don't need to be involved in this drama. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, probably, pretty likely for some of you. Um, it feels as though, you know, you guys are taking fate in your own hands. You're, you're allowing uh, destiny to play out. I'm, You know, this is fantastic. It's like, I'm not going to be stuck in my head. I'm not going to be stuck here. I'm, I'm stepping out of this situation. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you guys aren't just thinking about it. You're doing it. There, Somebody has had a blindfold on for quite some time, you know, wanting to not accept the truth, blocking the truth, but I feel like that is over. I feel like you guys are, are seeing things pretty clearly, and probably there was a time where you lacked self-esteem and self-confidence, but I don't think that is the case at this point. I think that other people, other people might say that you're in denial because, you know, they might say that because they see that you're taking back control. And, you know, that's what people will say. People will say, oh, no, you know, you're, you're in denial or you're lying or they might point the finger at you in a negative way because you're in control. You know, people, other people, it's a sad situation where people don't like to see other people, um... take the lead you know they don't like to see people in control because they're not in control you know that's the way it goes you could have somebody around you that's jealous another woman that's jealous okay or a man I don't know but you could have somebody around that's jealous of your of who you are your strength okay um, I feel like you guys are not not holding on to what doesn't serve you I think that you had for quite some time but I don't, I don't see it now I feel like you guys are, are probably have a lot of options. You know you have options, so there's no need to be trapped. It's like, why? Why why would I need to be trapped in a situation that has caused a lot of drama in my life when I know that there's better opportunities for me? I think that you guys are seeing things clearly, even though this is a complex decision. I think you guys have made a decision, as most of you have. Maybe not all of you, because this card is here, the Seven of Cups, but... I feel like some of you have. Some of you have made the decision to move forward, to start a new a new chapter in your life. It's like I'm not going to hang on to this this player, this drama, this dramatic situation, whatever it is that you are hanging on to. Uh, your challenge position is the Wheel of Fortune. Now, that's not really a challenge, okay? I think that you guys are allowing a new chapter to start after you had held on to something that wasn't secure, it wasn't stable. I feel like you guys are are doing what you need to do to bring success to your life. Congratulations. Now there could be an offer coming in on the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Cups. There could be an offer of love, an offer of romance, 
or there could even if you're in a relationship now this this could be a time where your romance um blossoms even a little bit more okay Just remember to stay optimistic because it's, it's working for you. It is working for you. And, you know, that's where this Two of Swords comes in. Somebody sees your optimism and they probably, you know, don't like it. You could be dealing with somebody as a naysay naysayer and wants to bring you down because they see your 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 strength. They, strength. they see your organization. They see your ability to master who you are you guys are in control put it that way so I think that you have somebody on the outside that doesn't like it I do good luck is on the way good fortune good changes good things are on the way because you're not stuck you're not staying stuck and there's this other woman could be a man man or a woman that is like, oh shit. Yeah, maybe they wanted to offer you an opportunity and you're not even considering it. You know, maybe you're realizing that there's other fish in the sea and that you don't need to you don't need to concentrate on some sort of drama. I think there's some drama here. There is. There's some drop. There is. And I feel like you guys are probably passing up on an opportunity from somebody. Probably a fire sign. Could be anybody. But from somebody. And that other person is probably trying to do everything they can to get you to change your mind. I think that you guys have put a lot of hard work and effort into who you are. And being your own boss. And keeping things organized and structured. You guys have worked really hard at making the right choices you have there's a lot of investment here and i see patience as well i think what you've been waiting for is here because of your optimism i see optimism here i do there's been a period of no progress and a period of no victory and success a lack of confidence but now you guys are happy again. It's like you guys have found joy in, in having fun. It's like, you know, I'm going to go out and have fun. I'm going to go out and date. I'm going to go out and do things. I'm going to go out and put myself out there, hang out with my friends, and just have a good old time and not let this situation or person or whatever it is hold me back. This is dating. Some of you may be, if you're single, you may be joining some dating sites or going out with your friends or going to celebrations where there's a bunch of people around and just having fun. So I feel like this is a week of continuing to be optimistic and look at things from the bright side. Now this can even be a reunion of some sort with somebody from your past. I mean, I'm not sure many of you want that. But it could be. It could be a reunion with somebody from your past. This could also be clinging to the past, clinging to the memories of the past. Now, that could be the other person. I think that you may, you could have, because this is for hundreds and thousands of people, take what parts resonate and leave the rest. Because the, not the whole reading will resonate with you. This is somebody right here has memories of the past that somebody keeps throwing in their face. Okay? Somebody keeps throwing the memories of what they had and whatever in their face to get them to still stay stuck. But I think that you're, you're seeing that for what it is. And I feel like you're like, you know what, this is not worth it. It's not worth it. The memories, yeah, we have the memories, but the drama that you comes along with those memories ain't worth it. I'm going out and have fun. So I feel like you guys are probably dating, putting yourself out there, and, and letting go of, like, I don't know where the word drama is coming from for you guys, but I think that there's somebody in, in the mix of this situation that doesn't really want you to move on, even though you have moved on from them. I think that you've moved on, and they're trying to block it from happening. You've done, you've done a lot of healing. You've worked hard. You've worked hard at letting go of sorrow. You have, okay? You've worked hard at letting go of sorrow. Therefore, you know, what you've been waiting for is here because you're optimistic. You put yourself out there. I think what, so yeah, I mean, I think that there is a, a feeling of you take the lead, you get what you want. 
um, I feel like you're turning your back on somebody and they don't like it. They don't like it at all. They don't want that to happen. Yeah, somebody's definitely upset. Because you're you're charging out of their life. It's like I'm I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Not playing your drama game, whatever this game was. You know, and I think because you decide, you know, not to engage, you receive this new opportunity that's solid and stable. So I feel like you guys have a new opportunity. If it hasn't come yet, it could come within the next week. Okay, this is or if it it may have already come because you guys have decided decided to disengage. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I think that you guys are being given a golden opportunity of stability, security. Um, this could be a new partnership, something that is fantastic. Um, but that's after you remove yourself from a situation where there's no togetherness, there's no compromise, there's no... Um, real partnership with this person. I feel like you guys, there's definitely a third party situation here with all these threes. Because you have the three of cups, the three of wands, the three of pentacles. You know, there's definitely a third party situation where three is a crowd. I think that you have moved on from somebody. And the third party is the other person is like, uh-oh. You know what I mean? This other person. Now all of a sudden they want to put in effort because they see you're out having fun and you've moved on. All of a sudden now they're interested. <laughs> shut that off my candle is going on my thing yeah yeah you're excited you have a new opportunity with somebody that's better suited for you and now you got somebody in the background that sees it that's what I see so they're not happy and all of a sudden they want they want to talk to you and they want to make some compromises and they want to you know block you from moving forward but you're not worried about it. It's like, are you kidding me? Are you joking? It's like, I don't even have another, I'm not even thinking about you anymore. <laughs> That's what, you know, it's like, I don't even think about you. You're not even a part of my, my worry process. Why are you even coming here? Yeah, That's what it is. It's like, <laughs> what? I feel like you guys will probably cut this person off, you know, real quick. Real quick. Probably, you know tell them exactly like it is and say you know what get the fuck out of here excuse my language for those of you with uh you know sensitive ears but that's what i see it's like you know what i forgot about you weeks ago weeks ago why are you here now because i'm out having fun enjoying my life i found somebody else yeah, I feel like your intuition led the way. There's a, there's a, and you do know what's going on. You're seeing things absolutely clearly, and I think that somebody is about to get the sword. They think that they're gonna block your happiness now. They've caused a lot of drama already, and they want to keep it going. I think you know exactly. You know exactly what is going on, and I feel as though you're not gonna give whoever this dipshit is another another world it's like no i don't want a relationship with you are you crazy <laughs> i know you can take your victim mentality and shove it where the sun don't shine not interested not interested in playing this game i'm not i feel like you you may have felt like this a person has attacked you in the past and they might get a taste of their own medicine I feel like you guys are listening to your inner guide, your intuition. You're highly intuitive at this time with this card and the High Priestess card. You guys are getting the messages that you need to hear and you're making the right calls. You've learned. You've learned through this process of hurt that you, whoever this person was that put you through it. And you're just like, you know, I'm not holding on to that hurt. I'm not. I'm not, I believe in myself, I'm following my own path, and I'm putting myself out there, and because you guys take the lead in your own life, the wheel is spinning in your favor and bringing you something, bringing you good luck, bringing you something that changes your course for the better. So Gemini, I feel like there is a new opportunity coming in for you, there's probably a lot of passion um, there's, I think there's a new sexual partner, a new partnership period where it's very exciting, a 
there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of room for growth, and there's a lot of room for stability and security as well. So there is a new partnership because you guys have removed yourself from a dramatic situation, and if this person tries to come back in and get you to play their game again, I think that you will probably be like, if I was you, I would turn around before you get your ass kicked. Um, something like that, you know, in your own words. But we're going to get one of these. I think that you are quite happy with where you're at, putting yourself out there, finding somebody new. If you haven't found somebody new, it could happen within a week. It could happen within a year. But somebody new is coming. Their destiny is playing in your favor because you're the boss. And there ain't nobody weighing you down even though they want to. Ooh, inner trust. Though it may be cloaked and hidden, within you lies natural magnific magnificence, vibrancy, and true uniqueness. The harder this is for you to believe, the more growth this oracle is offering you now. Your opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world and to let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you. And I do see that you guys are putting yourself out there, no longer hiding. This oracle brings you the message that it's time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from behind the veil. You are being assured that you can trust your intuition and your own sense of things. It's funny I mentioned your intuition. Sometimes with what you sense will be love and you will open your heart and more easily towards the source of that love, be it, be it in the form of another person, a new career path, a project which you care deeply about or want to pursue, or a spiritual or creative practice that you are keen to explore. Sometimes what you sense will be more challenging than this and will ask something different of you. It may be that you sense fear and sabotage lurking, which there is sabotage lurking, so beware, within someone's intentions or in the situations around you. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps you have drawn this card because you are unnecessarily holding yourself back out of fear or a lack or belief in your ability to support and care for yourself or in the importance of your need for self-expression in your relationships. The oracle of inner trust comes to you with this guidance. You know what you are doing. You have enough wisdom and intuition to be able to place yourself more fully in the world and to take steps to unhide yourself. <laughs> Beautiful. It just reiterates what I was saying. You're on top of your game. Somebody sees it, comes in, tries to F it up, and you're like, what? Back up before you get hurt. Talk to you later.